is here with the park ranger asking what palm trees are native to Florida because yeah. I've, I've been confused with all the cities they're planting them everywhere right right um, no coconuts no coconuts unfortunately uh, so these branching or these uh, bunches here are the rhodus palms or everglades palms okay. uh, just behind them the really tall ones with the green at the top yeah those are the royal palms okay and they are also native here wait a second isn't that one doesn't that that has coconuts so that's this this is a coconut palm the tall ones behind okay it, those are the royal palms okay um, so someone planted a coconut one there yeah and, and they're not invasive so we're not concerned okay yeah. yes there's a coconut and the super tall straight ones behind it are royal palms yeah, they get okay tall. yeah and then the skinny one here is the thatch palm thatch yes now do they have dates berries, yeah. It's a berry. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else is native? We have a silver palm. Not necessarily the ones that, palm. not necessarily the ones you see on people's yards yeah, or at the hotels. Birdies, but the same coloration. There's a silver palm. Um, the soft palmetto, which is all over the pinelands. It usually grows very well. Okay, I noticed that one. Um, I wasn't then, sure if that was just one of these other ones, but mm -hmm. just young. No, but, it's a soft palmetto. And actually, they can be many 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 years old okay uh, but it's a fire prone area so the the leaves will burn off but the uh, trunk will keep growing and then send new leaves out. okay um, then there's the cabbage palm or uh, sable palmetto is its, it's, its latin name and, okay uh, that's the state tree of florida oh uh, i feel like that's all palmetto uh, so, uh, yeah the sable palmetto or the cabbage palm okay i think that's all the ones at least are native in this area there may okay. be some more other areas of the okay so where are the coconut palms native to is that pacific on the pacific the side pacific of ocean. mexico okay yeah, asia and those, yeah, a, a whole pacific ocean oh, okay uh, they move by floating in the water okay and through native trade with native americans um polynesians yeah uh, trading across they did actually get across the atlantic they believe through native trade which technically makes them a native of the Atlantic as well. <laughs> yeah. But um, the first people to bring them to Florida were Spanish. So okay. know that they're uh, technically a non-native species. Now, um, this palm over here, are those berries edible? You know, I'm not sure. I know the birds love them, but I'm not sure if... Uh, okay. I mean, they probably are. I don't know if they're, they're poisonous. Not, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, there's a difference between edible and eatable. Uh, whether it will make you sick and whether you'll like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're not finding it in any restaurants no, right now. No. <laughs> We're looking at a whole bunch of the keys. Now, those are not the Florida keys, but they are the Yeah. The, 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 the kind of straight line that the road goes along, yeah. those are the Florida keys. But those are all, also called keys. <laughs> and why do you call it a key and not just an island? There's a couple of different definitions. A key is usually a barrier island or a okay. small coral island. Okay. Um, they also comes from Cayo, or Spanish for a small key, okay. small island, and K in British English. Okay. Uh, and we call them keys. Okay. Yeah. They're usually a small coral island. All right. Yeah. Very <laughs> cool. I don't need to go in there now. Oh, no. <laughs> no there's more stuff. There's we more may stuff. go see crocodiles right over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, why are there crocodiles here? I thought... They're native to Florida. And it's the northern edge of their range. What do they like? Do they really like salt water more? Or? They like warm and beaches to lay their eggs on. And that's the main reason they're on the coasts of Florida. Uh, they range all the way through the Caribbean, Central America, um, Northern South America, even over to Baja, you'll find the American crocodile. Oh. Okay. But, um, Are they smaller than the African or? Oh yes. Okay, yeah. so it is a different species yes. of a crocodile. So the American crocodile, there's there's 26, I believe, crocodilian species in the world. Um, there's only two alligators: the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. Okay. Everything else is either caiman or crocodile or gharial. And uh, so we have the American alligator and the American crocodile. Okay. In the American continents. Um, and so it's the only place they overlap. No. Place to find both of them. Uh, but yeah, the crocodiles like it here because it's, it's warmer. Uh, I don't know if you guys know how chocolate is. 
morning, been, but it was warmer been. here than it was in Homestead oh. because this salt water creates a little blanket, a thermal little layer that keeps us warmer. The wind's picked up now. Yes. Um, but it's going to switch to the southeast tomorrow, so it'll be warmer tomorrow. Um, but that means that the crocodiles are, are warmer. They're a tropical species, so they don't want to be where it's cold. And then they, they can't build a nest like an alligator can, so they need a dry soil, much like a beach. Later. What nest do you have up in your offspring? Oh, yeah, um, actually, the two babies are right here in the scope. Um, both young ones have learned how to fly. I, I bumped it. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no, you've only got one. <laughs> you only got one, but it's an easy to see one. Um, they have the, the white, the white cap. And what is your, uh, are you a ranger here? Or yes. what is, okay, and what is, what, Shauna, Cottrell, okay, <laughs> all right. Um, I live here every winter and I live in Oregon every summer. Oh, no. oh it's a terrible place. Oh, she lives in Oregon? Oh, my God. Yeah. Where are you at? Uh, Astoria at Lewis and Clark oh, National Historical Park. Oh, what a great Park. town. Well, actually, I live in Seaside. I have an aunt oh, over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? I went to Oregon State. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm 